primary is Fabio Calabianti, and on behalf of the authors of this paper, Natal Andrade and Fabio Faria, I will present this work entitled Improving Similarity Metric of Multimodal MR Brain Image Registration via a Deep Ensemble. Our work consists of image, medical image registration. Image registration is a problem where a geometrical transformation moves a source image onto the same space of a target image in order to have their contents overlapping. Our work focuses on the similarity metric element of the registration applied to multimodal images. Multimodal images are images that have the same content with different appearance, such as this example here, where we have T1 and T2 images of the brain that are acquired with MRI scanner. This slide shows our main methodological contribution. We propose the deep ensemble to compute similarity maps. Starting here from the left, we have, during the training, pairs of patches that are input to the network. They may be both from corresponding or non-corresponding regions. Then we use any number of metrics, both classic and deep learning based, to compute several different similarity metrics resulting in those maps. After that, we may select any subset of those maps and use them as input to our deep ensemble. The ensemble here is also a CNN or and an autoencoder. The ensemble has been trained to learn from the maps as their inputs and our farm final result as output is also a similarity map. This approach was designed to be feasible both in terms of required space and computational effort. The second contribution of our paper is proposing an over evaluation metric. Traditional metrics did not reflect the desirable features of our similarity metric. As the output patch is small with respect to the image, traditional metrics failed to elucidate simple information, such as did the method point the highest probability at the point of interest? How many false negative regions are there? The idea is to generate two simple measurements. The first one, EPOR, is a binary measurement that indicates if the transformed patches match the target patch and has a similar size to it. That's because some methods assign a high probability to a large area of the image containing the target, but this is not useful. The second measurement is FPOR and is a quantitative measurement that provides the approximate quantity of quantity of false positive patches. Again, large patches may count as multiple false positives in this metric, depending on their relative size to the patch size. So here we show some qualitative results and our method here, ESB3 and ESB5 got the best results. And here we show our quantitative results. And as you can see, according to both classical metrics, our ensemble got the best results. Also in terms of false positive in our new evaluation metric. CNN21 got a very good result too, and even better than ours in terms of true positives but it got seven times more false positive results. And finally, we want to thank CAPS for financial support for Nathan Andrade Master Scholarship, and also NVIDIA for donating a Titan 5 GPU for our research lab.